Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. This is the final chapter of Thessalonians. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silas, and Timothy to the people of the church in Thessalonica, who belong to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, may grace and peace be yours. The life and faith of the Thessalonians. We also thank God for all of you and mention you in prayer. For we remember before our God and Father how you have put the faith in practice, how you lo love made you work so hard, and how you hope in the Lord Jesus Christ is firm. We know, brothers, that God loves you and he has chosen you to be his own. For we brought the good news to you, not with words only, but also with power in the Holy Spirit and with complete conviction of its truth. You know how we lived when you were with you. It was for your own good. You imitated us and the Lord, and even though you suffered much, you received the message with the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. So you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Greece. For the message about the Lord went out from you not only to Macedonia and Greece, but the news your faith in God has gone everywhere. There is nothing then that we need to say. All those people speak of how you received us when we visited you and how you turned away from idols to God, to serve the true and living God and to wait for his son to come from heaven, his son Jesus, whom raised him from the dead and who rescued us from God's wrath that is to come. So Thessalonians is about Thessalonica. The whole part of this is showing that they had a successful miss, uh, missionary trip to this area and many people believed what they said and turned away from sin and idols. And Paul's work here was successful in making more people to spread the news of God. This is the same thing we need to be doing today. We need to be spreading the word of God as the people of God. And we need to be united and not separate just because we have different beliefs. If our faith in Christ is the same and we believe that he is savior, we need to work together to spread the news of Jesus throughout the world, just like Paul and the disciples did. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will see you again next time.